Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 122 in the Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-night killer problem, um, and similar to yesterday's problem, this one has a global constraint, the anti-night constraint. So the goal on this one is to place all of the ones and twos into the grid, um, and there is a link below in the description where you can get a copy of this grid so you can try it out yourself. So the rules in play are no two cells that are, in, or no cells that are in knights move apart, and a Knight's move looks like this. So any cells that have that shape apart, so these two cells could not contain the same digit. And the same would be true if it was that shape or that shape. Um, any rotation of this shape, that, that, um, if the, cell, the two cells at the end of that shape cannot be the same digit. Um, can, uh, so any two cells that are a nice move apart now may not contain the same digit, and digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Place all of the ones and twos. So that's what you need to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can give this one a try for yourself, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so... Um, we can immediately look at the three cages and know the only way you can make up three in Sudoku digits is one plus two. There's no other way to do it. And there's some deductions we can make there. So the two, this is a knight's move shape. So that cannot be a two because they would see each other. So this would be the one, this is the two, which automatically makes this the two and this the one. Um, now we want to look at one and two in this box because we know that we cannot put ones and twos in here. So the one and the two must go up here. This two takes two out of here, but this two sees that by that knight's move shape. So that can't be the two, and this becomes the two. This one sees that one, so this becomes the one. Okay, well and good. We have the same thing now down here. The one and the two must go down here because we cannot put the one and the two in these rows is fully taken up. So we cannot put ones and twos in any of those. So the two ones see both of those, so they're not the one, and that's the one. And the two, two, the two, this two sees this two, and this is the two. Okay, so where do we go now? Well, we now can tell that in these columns, we cannot put a one and two in there, and we cannot put a one and two in there. So the one and the two cannot go into those, so the one and the two has to go into those. But this cannot be a two, and this sees that two by the knight's move shape. So that's not the two, this is the two. This one sees that one by the knight's move shape, so that's not the one, and this is the one. Now this moves down here. This two sees that one by the knight's move shape, and we could have done the same over here, but this two sees this two by the knight's move shape, so this is the one, this is the two. That looks across making this the two, and this the one. And now by basic Sudoku, or if we instead of done here, instead of here, we could have done the same in reverse. By Sudoku, that is the one, and that is the two, and that is the solution to the problem. Really, really nice flow on this one. I like the way this works and it just pushes itself together. Um, thank you, Rhett Finks, for sending this one through. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you were able to get some um, good understanding of um, the anti-night um, constraint on this one. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving. 